It is a treatable fungal disease that affects both people and pets, including cats and dogs. Valley fever is an infection that is commonly found in southwestern parts of the country, but it's really rarely seen in New England. But recently, the disease was discovered in a rescue dog that came from Arizona. Experts say as adoptions of rescued animals from out of state continue to rise, so do the chances of other diseases showing up here. News Center's Vivian Lee has the story from Durham, New Hampshire. The New Hampshire Diagnostic Veterinary Lab at the University of New Hampshire tests thousands of specimens from across New England. When a sample came in from a biopsy of a mass removed from a boxer mix, pathologist Dr. Colleen Monahan was in for a surprise. It was not cancer. Instead, I was seeing these, these fungal yeasts um, that are consistent with coxioides fungus, um, or the, which is the cause of valley fever. The pooch was a rescue dog from Arizona and has since made a full recovery. Valley fever is caused by a fungus that lives in the soil in southwestern states. Symptoms include a harsh dry cough, a fever, a lack of appetite, lethargy or depression and can be dormant in the body for several years. And they breathe it in and it often more affects the lungs and can cause a pneumonia and an infection there. Um, and then it can go kind of systemic and affect other organs. Now the good news about valley fever is that it can be treated if caught early and that usually involves scanning a pet's lungs. Also, it's not transmissible between animals and animals and humans. If left untreated, the infection can cause a lifetime of health complications. Experts say there could be an increase in diseases rare to New England due to an uptick in animal adoptions from other states. They say it's important to talk to your vet about your dog and cat's history. If your dog did travel there or was adopted from somewhere in the south and that way they can kind of be on their radar to think about different diseases that may not be prevalent in New England. Another chance Animal Rescue adopts out about 150 cats and kittens rescued from North Carolina every year. The nonprofit shelter only works with licensed organizations that give the cats a clean bill of health. They've been checked by a vet and um, they have been okayed. They don't show any signs of upper respiratory infection. They don't see it, show any signs of internal maybe issues. Experts say the discovery of valley fever is another important reminder to adopt only from reputable rescue organizations which take the necessary steps ensuring that the pets are healthy when they arrive here in Maine. In Sanford, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.